everyone welcome back to another video tutorial. I hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to share you some basics about intracellular thermometry. My area of research is very close to this field so I am very happy to share about these topics. Through this tutorial I will share about how our body is maintaining the temperature. How can we measure cellular temperature? What are the benefits to measure the molecular temperature? Etc. Let's start our session. Start with introduction. Our body time regulates the body temperature through a process called thermoregulation, in which the body can maintain its temperature within certain boundaries, even when the surrounding temperature is very different. The core temperature of the body remains steady at around 36.5 to 37.5 degrees Celsius. In the process of ATP production by cells throughout the body, approximately 60% of the energy produced is in the form of heat used to maintain body temperature. Thermoregulation is an example of negative feedback. See picture. This explains the heat exchange mechanism in our body. The hypothalamus in the brain is the master switch that works as a thermostat to regulate the body's core temperature. If the temperature is too high, the hypothalamus can initiate several processes to lower it. These include increasing the circulation of the blood to the surface of the body to allow for the dissipation of heat through the skin and initiation of sweating to allow evaporation of water on the skin to cool its surface. Conversely, if the temperature falls below the set core temperature, the hypothalamus can initiate shivering to generate heat. Do you know that our body is undergo different process? Temperature is modified during every activity of biomolecules such as cell division, protein synthesis, enzyme metabolism and reaction, etc. So cellular temperature measurements contributes the explanation of different biological process. How to cellular level temperature? It is a big deal because temperature changes inside the cells is usually at a small scale and is of transient nature. So what's the solution for it? Yeah, we have different methods are available for measurements of molecular level temperature. In order to measure the intracellular temperature, a non-invasive method should require luminance sense nanothermometry is one of best one. It utilizes temperature measurements based on intensity and lifetime of fluorescence emission. For this fluorescence materials are used for it. In this cells were first treated with fluorescence materials, then measuring the intensity with respect to temperature. Most of the revealed approaches with fluorescence based thermometry depends upon changes in the intensity of fluorescence with respect to the temperature changes. Due to unstable nature of fluorescent dyes quantum dots used as one best way for molecular thermometry. For watching this video tutorial, I hope you gain some basics about intracellular thermometry. If you like this video please share with your contacts. Knowledge will improve by sharing. I wish you all have a nice day. Thanks.